Welcome to Cloud Compliance with InSpec. I'm Nick Rykar, and in this video we'll take a look at how you can use InSpec to start evaluating the compliance of your cloud estate. If you've seen our introduction to InSpec series, you've already seen examples of using InSpec to scan servers over SSH or WinRM. But that's not all we need to evaluate. Since the introduction of InSpec 2, InSpec is also able to evaluate API-based endpoints like the cloud providers AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform so that we can make sure our SaaS-based cloud offerings are in compliance alongside our servers. In this video, we'll see some examples of just that and start evaluating our cloud endpoints both from the command line utility InSpec as well as from within Chef Automate. Let's dive right in. Let's start by having a look at a couple of InSpec profiles I've created to start scanning a few of my demo environments in the cloud. The first thing we'll note is that cloud resources aren't structured any differently from resources used to scan servers. Here, for example, we're looking at the AWS IAM user resource, which I'm evaluating my user, Nick Rykar, to see that it exists and has multi-factor authentication enabled. Just like any other resource, it's going to have a type and matchers that define our expectations. S3 is Amazon's data storage system. Here I'm taking a look at a couple of AWS S3 buckets, one that's intended to be public and one that's intended to be private, and my controls are validating those expectations. Before we can start scanning our cloud environments, we'll need to make sure that InSpec is configured to authenticate with our cloud provider. In the docs, we can go to the InSpec for the cloud section for an overview on how to set this up. For most platforms, this involves either creating a credentials file or setting environment variables per that cloud provider specifications. If you need a reference, they're all detailed within these docs and we can use the inspect detect command to validate that things are set up correctly. I'll kick things off by doing just that. If everything is configured as it should be, we'll get a summary of our platform details indicating we can now run inspect exec to evaluate our profile against our target platform. Success! It looks like my S3 buckets and my IAM user are set up as I expect. We can now move on to our next section. Now let's have a look at my Azure demo profile. In this profile, the default control is evaluating an Azure resource group, essentially where all of our resources get deployed. This resource group, BJC Demo, isn't doing very much. I have a few storage accounts here, but I haven't deployed any VMs or networking. As such, my expectations are that the resource group is provisioned, but that its VM count is zero and it doesn't have any NICs. It does have two storage accounts, however, and I want to validate that. Back on the command line, things are going to look very similar this time. Once again, I'll use inspect detect to make sure my local system is properly configured to communicate with Azure, at which point I can once again run inspect exec to evaluate my Azure demo profile and make sure my resource group is configured as I expect. Once again, excellent. It looks like it is. Should anyone do something like deploy a VM into this RG, I now have a way to detect that and take appropriate action as needed. We can also make use of InSpec's cloud scanning capabilities from within the Chef Automate dashboard. By clicking on Node Integrations in the upper right, we can create a new integration to scan our AWS estate. At the time of this recording, Azure and GCP scanning are soon to come. All we need to do is give our integration a name, like AWS API, and give it our AWS access key and secret key. Alternatively, if your Automate server has IAM uh, privileges to access the resources you'd like to scan, you can select Read My Credentials from My EC2 Environment and don't need to add your keys to Chef Automate. I've already done this, so we can use my AWS API uh, integration to scan my estate. Before I can do that, however, I'll need to upload my profile to the Chef Automate server. To help us with this, inspec includes an archive command that will take our profile and compress it into a tarball that can be easily uploaded to Chef Automate. 
Now I have everything I need to start scanning my account. Back in Chef Automate, we'll navigate to the Asset Store and click on Upload Our Own Profile. I'll select a profile from my local system and grab the tarball just generated. Once the upload is complete, we can now use this profile in a scan job. I'll start by creating a new job and select the AWS API integration I created earlier. Since my profile scans US West 2, I'll go ahead and fill that in in my regions and move on to the next step, where I'll select my AWS Security Baseline profile. Finally, we'll name our job and give it a schedule. This allows us to ensure our scan happens on a recurring basis and we continuously audit the state of our systems. For now, though, I'll just do a one-time scan so we can see how things look. As soon as I save my scan, it will move from new to completed, and I can view the report validating what I saw in the command line that my US West 2 region has S3 buckets and my IAM user configured as I expect. That's all for now. To get a broader overview of InSpec, be sure to check out our Introduction to InSpec video series, and to get hands-on, check out the Compliance Automation Track on LearnChef Rally. Until next time, take care.